In this Connect with Remedy recorded webinar session, I will cover using the Server Group dashboard. In this presentation, we'll be talking about the Server Group console, the Server Group dashboard itself, what makes up the dashboard, which is flashboards, the default six flashboards, and how to customize the dashboard. The AHA System Server Group console. So this is a fantastic new feature that provides a central location to manage the server group. Previous versions, the main access point for configuring the AR server used to be the server information form. For this, you had to access each AR server in the group independently. That's all changed with the introduction of this powerful new feature where you can manage the server group in one central location. Some history to this feature. In 9104, there was a communities release. You deployed the package via the deployment manager and then imported the form data into the AR system server group dashboard page layout form via the data import tool. The package consisted of form definitions, workflow, and plugins. With 18.05 and 18.08, it's now delivered with the product, and it's accessed from a different location, but still via the application flyout menu. There are one or two minor changes in this feature in version 18.08 as compared to 18.05. On the next couple of slides, we'll take a look at how to access the feature and see what the dashboard looks like. So here's the entry point and the dashboard for 9.104. To access it, go to the Application Flyout menu, AR System Server Group Administration, AR System Server Group Console. Likewise, here are the screenshots from 18.05 and 18.08. Again, they show the entry point and the dashboard. The entry point is in a slightly different location, and it's the Application Flyout menu, Remedy Management Console, AR System Server Group Console. As you can see, the dashboard is simpler with just number counts instead of dials. From here on in, we'll talk about the functionality available in version 18.08 only. As seen on the screenshots in the previous slides, the front page of the Server Group Admin Console is the Server Group Dashboard. This is made up of flashboards, and out of the box, there are six included by default. I'll go into the details of the six flashboards in the next slide. The dashboard itself can be customized, and you can display up to 28 flashboards on it, so another 22 can be added. The backend form is the AR System Server Group Dashboard page layout form. When adding this feature in 9104, this is the form that you need to import data into. As discussed, there are six default flashboards in the out-of-the-box server group dashboard. These are FTS pending indexing, CAI events, application pending load, sysactions, pending email messages, longest not sent email in days. FTS pending indexing. This flashboard is based on and drills down onto the AR System Server Group Management FTS Pending Join Form. It shows the number of records in the FT Pending table with operation type 5 or minus 5, which is a form re-index. CAI Events. This is based on the CAI Events form, which is a mechanism to transfer data. It is used by many applications, including SRM, the Data Management Tool, and the Social Bridge Records with Smart IT. Application Pending Load. This is based upon the Application Pending Form which is used to queue items for processing, including assignment, approval, SLM, CMDB, etc. Sysactions. This is based on the sysaction form, and it's a way to control execution of workflow. It's a heavily used form where many, if not all, ITSM apps use it. The last two flashboards are based on the AR system email messages form. For pending email messages, if you click on this flashboard, it drills down to the form and searches on outgoing messages mail where send message equals yes or send message equals error. For longest not sent email in days, this will just show a count of the age and days of the oldest unsent email record. To summarize, the dashboard displays a consolidated view of the overall health of your environment using flashboards. All of the six flashboards draw down to their respective forms. If more than a normal amount of records show within each of the flashboards, this indicates a problem which should be investigated. The count is displayed as zero if you have no access to a specific form. If ITSM is not installed, the error data is not available will be displayed on the CAI events and sysaction flashboards. How to customize the dashboard. As previously mentioned, the backend form AR system server group dashboard page layout form holds the information to the flashboards which will appear on the server group dashboard. In 1808, this can be accessed via the Remedy Management Console itself. Go to Configuration, Dashboard Layout. It has 28 available slots, of which 6 are already taken. Here you can add or remove any flashboards using the fields at the top of this form. Select the line in the table field that you want to update, and simply add or remove the details of the flashboard that you'd like to appear. 
The fields to fill out are flashboard name, event type, event form, event flashboard. The event type, event form, and event flashboard fields are all settings for what to do upon clicking the flashboard on the dashboard itself. How the flashboards display data is entirely up to how the flashboard was created. Amongst others, the options are text, and this is how the default six are shown in 1808, line chart, bar chart, pie chart. You can, of course, create your own flashboard and add it to the dashboard. The link to the online documentation that explains how to do this is in the references slide at the end of the presentation. A few examples of custom flashboards are show historical data on the records in FT pending over time, show historical data of how many users were logged in over time. For this, you can use the historical license usage form. Count the number of KAs past their review date. These actually add work to the FT indexer thread since out of the box workflow modifies the join form and this triggers an FT scan job. Basically, if you can build a flashboard of some data that you'd like to monitor, you can add it to the server group dashboard. Now onto the demo. So here's the Remedy homepage. And we go to the application flyout menu, Remedy management console, AR system server group console. And this takes us to the server group dashboard, which is the front page of the server group console. And here we can see the six default flashboards which make up this dashboard. If we run the mouse over these values, we can see that the cursor changes, which indicates it's clickable. And we'll explore the flashboards which have values. So that will be application pending load, sys action, pending email messages, and longest not sent email in days. So when drilling down on each of these flashboards, it takes us to the relevant form. For example, this is the application pending form. And it will show the 47 records, which appear as the count on that flashboard. This is the same for sys action pending email messages, and longest not sent email in days. As you can see, the counts for the email flashboards are abnormally high. This is due to this being a QA endurance environment, and a lot of data is passed through with the email engine service turned off. We can go and change this data by simulating sending some emails. So let's just check the longest not sent email in days. From checking the email body of this first email record, I can see the date of this email was the 13th of May 2015. I know that's true for the first eight records, so I'm just going to go ahead and select them. And modify all, and change the send message status from yes to sent. This should then pick up the value for the ninth record in here. So if we go back to the dashboard, do a refresh, you can see that these values have now changed. Now to customize the dashboard. For this we go to configuration, dashboard layout. So here's a table field which holds all 28 slots for the flashboards. First six are taken up, so we'll choose the seventh one. Select the flashboard name. For this, we'll do AST computer system by status. And here we get to select what happens on mouse click. We can either go to a form or a flashboard. In this case, we'll go to a form and we'll go to the AST computer system form. Update, close, refresh the dashboard. And here's the seventh flashboard. We'll go into the form, do a quick search to check the number of records, and here it matches up. Thanks for watching. And finally, here's some links to references used throughout the presentation. We have links to the server group console, flashboards, customizing the server group dashboard, and the BMC community's release for 9104, which is unsupported. And again, thanks for watching.